Uh, this is a quick walk through of the uh, Microsoft Word practice exam. Um, you have the file, it's called exam.doc. You see exam.doc over here. And so step one is to start Word and open up the file exam, so we did that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is perform a spell check on the entire document. We can do that by going to the Review tab, and we go to Spelling and Grammar. You click on this button over here, and it'll take us through all of the different options, and we'll say for each of these suggestions, change, 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 and now the Spelling and Grammar check is complete. That was step two. Step three, it says in more than one place, replace the words your name with your full name. Um, in the actual test, you might, if it was a question like this, you might have had it a hundred times. Luckily here, it was only two. But Control h will uh, open up the replace, or else you could go to the Home tab, and right over here, and the Editing Group, Replace, and you want to look for your name, and replace with whatever your name is. And then we're going to say Replace All, and here we've made two replacements, and then I say OK. Um, Next up, that was uh, question three. Question four, change the font size of your name, the one on the top line, and, uh, to point size 16, um, and center it. So we'll go over here, we'll select all of it, and over here, point size 16, and we want to center it. That's right over here on the paragraph group, we center it. Um, Insert a bottom border under your name, the one on the top line. So that's over here, within this paragraph group, there's this border. Just click on this button, bottom border. You see we have a bottom border on everything. Uh, between the first and the second paragraph, so what I mean by first is, this is the first paragraph, this is the second paragraph. So between these two, we want to insert and resize a computer picture from the clip art. So we're going to go over here to the Insert tab, and we're going to insert a clip art. And we're going to look, there's going to be a task pane that opens up on the side in a moment. It's just being very slow. We're going to search for computer, and I'm going to say go. And we'll choose one of these pictures, and we could drag it over in between the first and the second paragraph. Um, on an actual test, you might be asked to rotate it or things like that. Uh, here it says insert and resize a picture, so I'm just going to resize it to make it a little bit smaller. Um, and there we have it. Um, just quickly to show you other things that might happen. I just right-clicked here, and I could say that I want the text wrapping instead of being in line with text. I could say square, tight, etc. Once I do that, then it will be able to um, uh, to move within the paragraph itself. Um, but uh, over here, that's not what the question called for, so we're fine. Uh, the next question, uh, question seven. Insert the following table between the third and the fourth paragraphs. Um, so we're going to have to make a table which is one, two, three, four, five across and five down. So between the third and fourth paragraphs, so one, two, three, listed below right over here. Just give it a little bit of space. And I'm going to click on table, and it's going to be five by five. That's five by five is over here, five by five. Okay, now that I've selected this, I'm going to type in skills, poor, basically it's going to look exactly like what we have on the table. Fair, good, and excellent. And then different programming languages we might know, like Java, base, basic, uh, C++, and COBOL. Now certain uh, things were bolded Bold the first items, in the, the, the items in the first row, and make the font size 14. So I'm just going to select the entirety of the first row. You see, I just double click there, I selected everything, and I'll go here to the Home tab. I'm going to click on Bold, and I'm going to say Point Size 14, just like the question calls for. Um, furthermore, center all the items on the tables. So we're going to select the entirety of the table. Um, within, you see over here, table, d the table tools. When we select the table, um, it opens up. Uh, we have two contextual tabs. One's called Design and one's called Layout. So if we look over here under Layout, maybe you see over here under Alignment, this middle one will align to the center. So here now everything is aligned center. Um, and then what do we want over here? X, 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 and X. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Um, and then save the modified exam with the name letter. So we're gonna uh, now that we've uh, made all of these changes, um, we're gonna save this as letter. So I go over here to this button and I say save as, and the title I'm going to give it is letter. And you see over here now it says letter .docx. Um, step nine is doing a mail merge, and uh, if you recall in class, we did two different ways of doing mail merge. One is to open it up in Excel, make every all of the 
fields and so on and so forth. And the other one is we're going to create the whole list within uh, within Word, and then when we save it, we'll save it as uh, an ACCDB, a uh, Microsoft Access Database. Um, actually, I think uh, even though this is Word 2007, it would save it as an MDB, uh, Microsoft Database, which is the Word 2003. Regardless, uh, we're going to just do it the same way, the second way that we did it in class, which is yeah, all entirely within Word. Um, and so how are we going to do this? We'll just follow the steps. Some of these steps are a little bit... Uh, extraneous but whatever so step uh, step so within nine step uh, a step one select letters as a document so we go here to mailings and start mail merge and we say letters this is going to accomplish absolutely nothing because it's already set to be working with letters um, so I don't think we really needed to do that but that's what we start we say letters um, then the second step is um, when we select uh, where it says use the current document as a starting document that was an instruction for Word 2003 it's irrelevant for this one uh, so step C or step 3 uh, select type a new list as the recipient so I'm going to go here to select recipients type a new list and give it a, a couple of moments to start um, and we're going to click create to open a new address list window I didn't have to do that, just automatically started like that. Um, and now we're going to want to customize. On the actual test, maybe we have to add fields, but uh, we're going to remove fields and rename uh, a field over here. Now, what do we want to have? We want to have title, that's good, first name, last name, company name, address, city. Um, so address over here, let's rename address line 1 to just say address. And we say OK. Address line 2 we can delete. City, state, zip code is good. Um, and so all of these others, uh, country or region, will delete. And home phone will delete. Uh, work phone will delete. And email address will delete. And you see we can also, also move up and move down to reorder this in this list. But this is fine. We're going to say OK. And then we're going to type in information for uh, here, they said, for a couple of people. Enter three records. OK, so let's say Mr. Sam uh, Thompson. Um, company name is Queens College. Address is 500 Casino Boulevard. Uh, city is going to be New York. New York. 11033. Uh, now, another one, Mr. Bob Peters. Um, let's say he also works at Queen's College and so on and so forth. I'll just use the same company name and same address and so on and so forth. And new entry and Mrs. Um, Susan um, Smith uh, and uh, works company name for Disney and address is 1 Disney Road just making up information city is uh, let's say uh, again Oh, this was incorrect information. Let's just fix this up. Um, well, why not New York? New York. And we'll give a different zip code, 11353. Okay, so now we have three different uh, entries. I'm going to say OK. Um, and at this point, it's going to prompt me for the name of the MDB file, um, which is an access database. And I'll just say test merge or something like that and give it a second or so okay so now well we've created the, the database and so on and so forth so we finished with this first group of start mail merge we're gonna go now to this next one which is um, we're gonna we're gonna put in over here we'll replace title first name last name company name address city state and zip code with the same information uh, you could choose them one by one but now that we know what it's supposed to look like let me just do it one uh, well, I'll do it one by one like this we'll say title space first name space make sure you put spaces in between last name enter insert merge name company name enter 
address enter and city comma space state space zip code. So that way I replaced all of these different pieces of information. Where it says dear title last name, let's replace those also. Um, dear title space last name comma and uh, I suppose you could have used the uh, block but that's not what the question called for so we're not going to do that I'm writing to inquire about a position with your and we'll put it over here we'll replace it with company name um, graduated from Queens College yada 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 um, sincerely see this is we'll just put it on the same page um, and now uh, we finished with all this and we're not going to do anything fancy with rules or match fields or anything like that if you want to preview the results you click on this button over here and you see we now have all of this information and you can go from one recipient to the other to see how it will uh, actually populate. It's probably a good idea to do that just to make sure that you didn't mess anything up but anyway let's turn back off this preview results and after we're done we're going to uh, go over here to uh, this last step which is finish and merge and we'll choose edit individual documents which is going to create uh, especially if we say all over here it's going to create a new document with th uh, three pages each page is a new record um, and you see over here we have all of this information we're going to save this as merged um, so file save as and I'll call this merged and we'll also go back to that first document which was called letter so save the file letter um, and now we're finished and then uh, I will collect the work you'll just leave it on the machine um, and so you can just let the time for the test uh, uh, finish up and then I'll collect it um, so good luck on the test and uh, hopefully this walkthrough has been helpful